What is going on everybody? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Welcome back. And if this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be talking about the SV Boney, SV Boney, however you say it, 8 to 24 millimeter focal length, one and a quarter inch zoom eyepiece. This was sent to me by SV Boney directly, and I'm going to be giving it a fair review here today. So let's start with the unboxing. Let's take this thing out of here. All right, so it does come with a cleaning cloth. This is the eyepiece right here. It's got two end caps on it. It's got the one and quarter inch threaded barrel for filters. And then you've got this zoom mechanism right here. Right here, you just twist from side to side to go from eight all the way down to 24. I gotta say for a first impression feel, it's very solid, has a nice heft to it. And um, looking forward to seeing what the performance of this eyepiece is gonna be like. I'm not an expert when it comes to eyepieces, but I can give you a fair and honest opinion of what I think optically how this, how this eyepiece holds up. We'll look at things like if we see any chromatic aberration or spherical aberration, just imperfections that cause discoloration or fringing, color fringing around the target. So that would be one of the key things I look for and how sharp um, the image looks with the eyepiece. So yeah, without any further ado, let's, let's put this thing in a telescope, look at some daytime targets, some terrestrial stuff like trees and leaves, and then uh, we'll take it out at night and look at some stars and see what we get. So here we have the eyepiece zoomed all the way in at 8 millimeter. Now this is eyepiece projection here. I'm using my Sony ZV-1 uh, put right up, placed right up to the eyepiece. So you're getting a true live view of what this eyepiece is capable of here. As you can see, there's very little color fringing. In fact, I, in this particular image here, I don't see really any at all. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed with the initial results here of what I have found so far. Here we have another example and as you can see just like in the previous image or the in the previous view I'm not really seeing any chromatic aberration here guys that you know what you're looking for is like a magenta like halo around bright areas especially like around the leaves or the the tree in the background there and really not seeing it and this is all through the six inch Maxitov Newtonian reflector telescope that I have so um, it, it was hard to get a tight focus with things blowing in the wind and of course there's tube currents because I didn't allow this to cool uh, to ambient temp but really still despite all that I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the terrestrial daytime results of this eyepiece very nice well guys unfortunately due to inclement weather I was not able to get this nice eyepiece out under the stars but judging from the terrestrial daytime views I'm very impressed with this thing, especially at only $69. This comes in at a fraction compared to other zoom eyepieces like the Pentax or Bader and what have you at the three and four or $500 range. I'm not going to sit here and tell you these are, this is just as good as that, but I, I can say with confidence that I really like this eyepiece. Um, I was really impressed with the views I got with it how crisp it's very crisp sharp and I could not make out any aberrations at least not with my eyes so SV Boney SV Boney has done a really good job with this and it comes in at a tremendous value at only 69 bucks so I'd say go for it if you are interested in this eyepiece I'll put some links in the description down below where you can pick one up and guys as always I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. Keep on looking up. Keep on seeking. 
God bless. And until next time, cheers, guys.